One year ago today, I married my soulmate, Alessia. And to celebrate, we pop champagne, reflecting and honoring all of our magical moments. And we're doing it on our brand new 37 Invincible Cat. And to add the cherry on top, we flew to Panama to enjoy a second honeymoon. While Alessia was being pampered, I worked the archipelago of islands for my bucket list fish. Holy shit. It's a giant rooster. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. It's 7 a.m. in my hometown of Miami, Florida. Today is a very special day for me and my wife, Alessia. It's a day of celebration and also the maiden voyage on our new 37-foot Invincible Cat powered by Quad Mercuries. We plan to enjoy the day fishing for yeah, you guessed it, sailfish. But the incredible part is that I have a partner that shares the same passion for fishing as I do. You see how many baits we got? I don't know, like 30 something? Yeah, <laughs> makes me feel good. Baby, can you come up here and take this line off? And... Out on the water, I become hyper-focused and always seeking perfection. And although it can become intense, she understands what drives me to be my best. The engines are straight? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. All right, let's go, let's go catch some fish. Thank you for letting me go fishing on our anniversary. You see those guys? Huh? Huh? Who, who just won the game? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah. Uh, see, look, that's a double win right there. She actually confirmed it. The first order of business in any successful fishing day in Miami is live bait. Alessia, Jimmy's coming. Good morning. Good to see you. Still killing it. For 35 years, Jimmy Lewis has been my friend, my bait plug, and Miami icon. All right, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jimmy. Even though I took 30 baits from my bait pen, bought a couple hundred baits from Jimmy, I still feel the need to run through the hub of international trade and South Beach to hit up another bait spot. Let's go catch some bait, hon. We got the de-hookers back there. I'm gonna put the uh, chum in the chum bag. Are these cigars right here? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's cigars right there. Let's catch about uh, 30 of these. I never feel complete without making another stop for at least 30 to 40 cigar minnows. You never know what kind of bait the sailfish will key in on. You can never have too much bait. And I'm gonna try to throw on them. Uh, a little spooky. All right, I'm gonna go for it. One, two, three. Oh, that was nice. Look at them all in the net. Wow, they're so quick. Let's go catch some sailfish, honey. Let's do it. Today's sailfish tactics will employ bait tubes, which will house the cigar minnows already hooked on, with water gushing through their gills, keeping them primed and ready to cast to free jumping sailfish. The idea is to sight fish and spot free jumping sailfish and run south of them by a quarter of a mile and cast out the baits and hope that you line up on them on the perfect angle within their line of sight. That guy's got helium on, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, get helium on this thing. That's a big anniversary balloon. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. That guy going away. And the next bait is gonna be a pilchard. Hey Carl, how you doing buddy? So what's going on over there in Panama? Uh, man, we got some uh, nice rooster bite going on right now. Yep. So you're, you're, you're calling me to tease me up to come to Panama for a rooster, huh? My, the, my bucket list. Absolutely. Would it be okay if Alessia came with? We can put you up at the Haven. We got the nice spa there, all the spa services. You can come down and get a treatment. I can turn it into a 
turn into a, a real deal. Ooh, that sounds really good. What do you think, hon? It could be great. How big are the roosters? What's the, what's the average size? Um, I think we're going to shoot for well over 40 pounders, so I think I think you're very happy. Oh my God, that's okay. That's a, that's that's a perfect anniversary deal. I like it. We're coming to Panama, man. We're going to do it. Perfect. All I'm right, stoked. looking forward to it. Can't wait to see you here. Thank you, man. <laughs> we'll call you uh, tonight. There's a free jumper right there. With sailfish hitting speeds of up to 72 miles an hour, you need to match their speed and focus and cut them off at the pass and present your baits. Just talked about all it takes to see one free jumper, man. I saw that splash out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, he's, got, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, whoa, did he just get bit? Yes. Yep, got him, got him. Come on. <laughs> got him on! We got him on, hon. Oh my god. You gotta stay tight on him, please, okay, honey? Pull up smooth, I guess. Up, 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 up. There he is, there he is, there he is, jumping. Woo! Keep it coming, keep it tight. There he is, that's what we're talking about. That's why we love this. Woohoo! Well, my biceps are burning. I'm gonna chase down your fish a little bit, hon, okay? Okay, okay. Coming at you, coming at you, coming at you. Oh my god, oh my god. He's so, he's wagging his tail, he's coming at right at us. Talk to me, hon, where is he? Oh my god, right here. Look at that beautiful water. We knew it was going to happen, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, my God. OK, keep going. Wait, he's going around the boat. No, no. <sighs> OK. Oh, that was intense. I was for sure it was, I came out. I was like, it's gone. All right, go around the engines. Go around the engines. Go around the engines. All the way. All the way. High, high, high. High rod. Don't reel. Go around. Take them all the way around. You got him, baby. Oh. I'm going to get the hook out of him, OK? OK. Oh. <laughs> this makes me so happy. I know, me too. When people say, seize the day, and you actually do, with a woman you love, a feeling of warmth and happiness engulfs your soul. It's one of those moments that will be etched in your memory for the rest of your life. Woo, baby! Ah, good job. Breaking in the new boat with a sailfish. You know what that calls for? Hello, our, Bobby. our anniversary champagne. Yeah. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Invincible when you're serious. Mercury, go boldly. Starbright. Clean and protect. My wife and I are off the coast of Miami, christening our new boat on our anniversary. I mean, we've been wanting this. We've been wanting to do this. My girl, my girl. So far, we caught and released one sailfish, which made our day. And we decided to run south to set up again, and we got covered up by bonitos. Hoping for another sailfish, we put the kite back out to see if we could double down on our luck. Oh shit, we're getting a bite. That's on the short. Realist, he's over there at the bow. Look at him, look at him. He's going wild. Look at that, look at that. He's not, hasn't stopped. Still going. It's another miracle, Alessia. Look at him, he hasn't stopped. He's been in the air the entire fight. We got problems. We got problems. We got a knot here. Oh my god. Holy shit. All right, I got a sailfish on. I got a big knot here in front of me. I gotta get this knot out because it's on this ring. I'm gonna tie these two lines together. If I can manage, nice and easy. Slow, slow this way. I gotta really, really work quickly. If I say go forward, punch it, okay? Okay. Two. Five on one side. Sailfish is still there. I can feel them. Okay. And now I gotta do it on the other side. Let's see if I can manage this. I'm trying to join two lines together. Turn to the right, hon. Turn to the right in gear. Gently turn to the right and put it in gear. In gear faster. He's pulling on me. I'm gonna trim these ends. We're back in business, baby. Ah. Oh. This fish had a lot of time to recuperate. He's screaming, lying. He's probably another 100 feet away. 
All right, Alessia, let's go straighten the motors and go forward. So we're trying to close the gap. I see my knot on the reel. You can go forward on him, I guess. Leader, got a leader right here. Big boy, big boy. Yeah? Another catch. Woo! Get him, Miller. There's he, oh, he is wrapped. The hook is around his dorsal, hooked in his dorsal, around oh, wow. the line. Look. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Honey, we did it. We broke in the boat on our anniversary, the sailfish, and then tomorrow, we fly to Panama. Tomorrow? Yeah, I already booked the tickets. What? Are you ready, rooster fish? I'm not ready, but I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. Good job, good job. You did great. I did great, you did great. Yeah. All right, that's it. Stay tuned, guys, we're going to Panama. As of 10 a.m. this morning, we are taking in the beautiful vistas, including the archipelago of islands off the Pacific coast of Panama. Upon our arrival, we grabbed our bags and met up with my good buddy Carl, who already had our car rental waiting. We made a quick stop at the local breakfast joint and discussed our plan. The first thing I noticed was the incredible infrastructure and cleanliness of the area. The roadways were freshly paved and the streets were spotless. Panama has 1,500 miles of shoreline with over 1,000 islands, some with caves and large openings, but all topped with beautiful greenery. Panama's coastline offers a year-round fishery for scores of game fish, from nearshore to offshore. Panama has it all. It's a bucket list trip for every angler and the perfect place for a romantic getaway. Citizen, better starts now. Yeti, built for the wild. Gator Step, premium boat flooring and decking. Salt Life Sunglasses, see clearly. The Haven Resort, owned by my good friend Carl Lafoe, is located in the coffee-growing region of Bajo Boquete, surrounded by nature, yet super close to the center of town. With Japanese gardens, luxurious spa, fresh ingredients and delectable cuisine, this resort has it all. The Haven Resort is organically woven into the mountainside property with all the amenities you could possibly desire. All of the rooms are state of the art and make you feel like royalty, while surrounded by breathtaking views just outside your private patio. Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> this is the craziest car ride I've ever been in. But I do love my coffee. I do too. We're at Finca Debra. We're at about 1,900 meters. This is considered extreme elevation. We grow several varieties here at Finca Debra. We grow primarily geisha. Geisha is considered the queen of the specialty coffee industry. So we dry all the coffees in parabolic dry houses. We don't dry coffee in machines. Okay, so um, you can smell it uh, from a foot, two feet away. Oh yeah, when you it walk smells, in, you can smell yeah. it. Very, very sweet. Very sweet. So I can bend flavors inside the same variety. In fact, I do more than 20 different uh, processes to give us different tactile, different aromatics, different wow. uh, fruit forward notes. Next year's harvest is coming in right here. We'll get a few rains over the next three weeks, a month, month and a half that will stimulate the tree and the tree will recognize, okay, now it's time to blossom, it's time to bloom. Not all of the coffee actually ripens at the same time. So our pickers will have to come by the tree four, five, even seven times, and everything is done by hand here. Finca Debra is completely self-sustained. It has no running water and it's completely off the grid. Their coffee grinders run off solar power. 
and propane tanks are used to boil the water. It smells so good. This is one process, one coffee. This is another, this is another, and that is another. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to break the crust. Breaking the crust will allow us to open up that cup and the aroma, the aromatics of that coffee will come out in a burst. Now's the fun part. Now we're going to taste the coffees. So you just... Whoa, what, did you snort that? Did you snort that? I snorted it. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Using the suction technique to aerate the coffee allows you there to you pick go. up the nuances of each better. blend. That's sweet. That is fruity. You did great. Yeah, I didn't expect that from you. Today, I discovered the artistry in the production and cultivation of high-end coffee. From this point forward, I'll be extremely appreciative of the attention to detail that has gone into creating my morning bliss. For your official Uncharted Waters merch, go to Peter Miller Fishing. Mercury, go boldly. Invincible, when you're serious. Salt life, live salty. We're off the coast of Boca Brava in the Gulf of Chiriqui, Panama in the expansive archipelago of islands, looking for my bucketless fish, known in Panama as gallo, but better known as the rooster fish. Guiding me is my buddy Carl Lafoe and his son Nick. And our first order of business is to secure live bait. We're just out here looking for some blue runners. We need these baits to go try for our rooster fish friends. The whole food chain starts here. Uh, we're going to cast to them, and we're going to throw them in the live well, and then we're on our way. They're pushing a little bit. They're going to stay in front of us. That's how they survive. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice, good, good job. We got them on. I think I might have two. Beautiful. All right, got to work that baby to the back, coming through. Ah, uh, look at that. OK, bring that in. Look at that, guys. That is a golden trevally. That is a baby golden trevally. Just a beautiful fish. Look at this, a baby African pompano. All right, we got enough? Let's call it. Let's go to where the fishies are. OK, very hard for me to ever stop fishing. I understand completely. Carl's company, Saltco, is a big supporter of the youth fishing programs in Panama donating rods and reels to the children. We have these little mini tournaments every month. We show them, this is how you rig it, this is how you fish with it, but more importantly, what do you do when you cut the line off? Instilling the knowledge on how to sustain and even improve their amazing fishery. So we're trying to teach them, you know, how do, you, how do we take care of the environment that, that we have? And how do we make sure that we have fishing for tomorrow? And how do we make sure we're not polluting the oceans? So uh, that's, that's pretty so, amazing. Yeah. Right about there. Beautiful. Yeah, let's run him back about 50 yards. It is possible you'll get picked up on the way down. There's a lot of fish we just marked off that ledge. Oh, there he is. It's a good sized fish. Really nice fish. You see him? I don't see it yet. He's right here. Stay on. Taking line, man, like a, like a beast. He might come up. Yeah, yeah, getting some shoulders. About 30 feet off the bow. We're going to see him here in a second. Here he comes to the surface. Right now, I see him now. Oh, man, he's cutting hard. You got really good eyes because I see no color still. Oh, nice and smooth, baby. There he is. There he is. He's right here. Yeah. I think he'll be happy when you see this. What is it? What do you think it is? Holy sh! It's a giant rooster. Come on, he's coming up here. I'll drag him right yep, into your net. Yep. Nice and easy. We'll work him up, no problem. This is a jack on steroids. Ready? I'm ready if you're ready. That might be a little more than 40. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap. You might be close to six. I better get him in the boat. 
Yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> First rooster fish, 60 pounder in Panama with our boy Carl LaFoe. This fish is reviving really well. Yo, nice. bro, bring nice. it home. Nice job. Woo. Nice job. Great job, man. Nice job. That was sick. Look at my knuckles. I was reaching in there, trying to uh, get the, uh, yeah, the that's, revival. That's commitment. Thank you, man. Yeah. Panama, baby. For additional content and social media, please visit us at unchartedwaterstv.com.